Hi guys, today it's Adam and back from holiday so it was a good holiday. Surfing and sandbanks, but I don't know anything, fortunately. So today we don't have guest number two, Khadija. No, she's gone to get her uniform for next year's secondary. So what we're doing today is we're trying to test out because we got a new 3000 watt inverter the other day, so we're trying to test out if it has enough power to power the um, kettle. It's a pure sine wave, so that, yeah, it's good. So what we've done here is we put, so before we only had one battery pack, now we have two battery packs, so we put them in series, so they're doubled. So we've got two more batteries up here, so they're in parallel as well. So we've short circuit this one, so it's 26.6. If we made it series, then it would be in like 14, something like that. Correction. Sorry, correction. Parallel, it would be 48. So up here we have a... 2,500 watt solar panel. It's only 250 watt. Correction. Correction. 250 watt. So, it's quite ready to be today, but as soon as we have the 3,000 watt, we should do it because apparently it's... how much was it? 1,850 yeah. 1,850 watts to do the in 200 so we're going to test it out properly so um, i lend it over to dad to do the switching on let's see if i can have my cup of tea so it's all connected we shoveled up the wires at the back to the inverter always needs a cup of tea now we'll do on the green light is on the inverter if you have a look and the kettle is powering up. You might want to come over here to see the voltage has dropped from 26 to 22.8. Now the alarm will start to sound when it drops below 22.5, I think. It's on 22.6. It's holding. It's holding quite well. Big meter boiler. This is probably the big, the maximum load we would ever put on this motor. Yeah, so and kids, do not try this at home unless you've got an adult with you, like I have here. Look at the voltage now. Because it's all the still boiling. It's not bringing much solar panel power, power in, um, but it's 22.4 steady on 22.4. 22.7. Yeah, steady on 22.4. Still so quite well. to double it up. The thing is, the kettle, as it gets towards the end, it will probably take its maximum power. Yeah. And the alarm hasn't gone up. It's good. Oof, 22. Because the kettle's really sucking that juice out of the battery packs. Yeah. 22.5. So, you can see how the power... It's going up and down. So the I alarm hasn't checked, came up yet. What I haven't checked is what the one and the two buttons are, so I don't know whether the two... I think it's oh, just the power thing. These guys are getting warm, actually. They're not hot. Are they? So doubling them up does help. Otherwise, they'd be getting really hot. But looks like my kettle's boiled. Yeah. Guys, I can have my cup of tea now. And the voltage has dropped to 22 at best. And it should turn off. 21. Because the kettle's it's still boiling. Now, should, the alarm's gone off. Now this should trick. Yay! Just did it. Yes. Just because the alarm was triggering. Now, if you look at the battery pack, it's gone back to 24.4. Gone back up higher. 24.5 now. So hopefully the solar panel will keep juicing it up on this cloudy day, and it might bring They're it back up. Very cloudy. But I am. Um, shall I get back to you to conclude? So. You're happy with the yeah, inverter? Really happy. It's a good test. Good test. And we can have a well deserved. Yeah, you can have your cup of tea and I can have my biscuits. Bye, see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and don't forget to comment down below what you want next video bye